Look at her just chilling. Lulu. Hi. Oh, she's perfect. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. Good morning everyone, welcome back to some more standard gameplay. Today we are going to be jumping into some Rakdos Vampire fun, uh, but before we do that, just as a quick reminder, if you're not already, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot. Every little bit counts, especially for us little small creators here, uh, and so any like on a video, any subscription really does mean a lot. It, it is also a really great way for you to stay up to date on all of our new videos. We're trying to release a lot more, uh, especially with this rotation, uh, and so we really encourage you guys to check it out we're having a lot of fun with this set so I, I hope you guys are following along and having some fun with us but let's talk today's deck it is Rakdos Vampires this is my own version of the build um, I've seen quite a number of different versions of this uh, however I kind of landed on this with a little bit of deck testing I haven't a uh, hundred percent kind of gone through and uh, done all the trimming that I would maybe like to do but uh, Vampires obviously got a lot of great support in Innistrad naturally that makes a lot of sense uh, and so we're gonna try that out here so some of the new cards that we got Falconrath Pit Fighter a 2-1 for 1 already pretty good value uh, but you can pay two discard a card sacrifice a vampire and then draw two cards you only can do that if an opponent lost life this turn which is fine because we've got plenty of ways other than just attacking uh, to, to deal some damage play with fire is in here another brand new card dealing two damage to any target if it is a player we actually get to scry one uh, and then shock is in here as well the shocks I'm actually just kind of recently testing out so we'll see uh, infernal grasp is in here a brand new removal spell uh, fantastic removal spell in my opinion instant two mana uh, destroy target creature you lose two life pretty straightforward but honestly when it comes to removal the more straightforward generally speaking the better not as worried about things like planeswalkers and stuff like that which is why we have a lot more creature removal in this list uh, the goal is just to finish the opponent off as quickly as we can so the the creatures getting out of the way is really the biggest thing uh, slaughter specialist another new card a 3-3 for two mana again really good value that's something you'll probably notice a good bit here uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, each opponent creates a 1-1 white human creature token. Not necessarily ideal, but whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you put a 1-1 counter on the specialist. So the idea is that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this should be able to take down some of the opponent's stuff, and as they do, uh, we actually get a lot more, uh, a lot beefier, we'll say. Uh, Bloodthirsty Adversary, I've only got this as a 2 of, that might be a mistake, but it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with haste, so already amazing, but when it comes down later in the game, you can pay an extra 3 any number of times that you'd like. Uh, it comes in with that many 1-1 one, one counters on it, but then you can also cast from your graveyard an instant or sorcery with mana value 3 or less for each time that you've done that. Generally, we're only going to be able to do that once, maybe twice, uh, but generally we are going to be looking to play like a play with fire, a shock, or maybe neonate's rush, another new card here, uh, deals one damage to target creature and one damage to its controller, and then we draw a card, a really good way to kind of continuously get through our deck and hopefully do a lot more. Uh, Vampire Socialite. 2-2 two, two for 2 with Menace, again, amazing value. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if an opponent lost life this turn, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other vampire you control. That's huge. That's a lot of power just sitting on the field right there for 2 mana. Uh, as long as the opponent lost life this turn, each other vampire you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. So we're really incentivizing playing during our second main phase after the attacks. We'll see me mess that up, I'm sure, quite a bit, but we're going to do the best we can to, to follow through with that. Uh, an old card that we've got here that I just had to throw in, uh, Nighthawk Scavenger. Just such a powerhouse card. This thing is amazing. Three mana for uh, one plus three. Uh, so the idea being that this is going to get stronger the number of card types we have in the graveyard. Uh, Flying Death Touch and the Life Link. I mean, what more could you ask for? Just fantastic. Uh, Florian, Voldaren, Scion. 
A 3-3 three, three for 3 with first strike, again, very good value. Uh, at the beginning of your post-combat main phase, again, that second main phase, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the amount of life that your opponents lost this turn. Exile one of those cards and put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You can then play that card this turn. So this is pseudo draw. Uh, essentially, this allows us to kind of select some of the stuff that we'd like to play from the top of our deck. Uh, it is only one card a turn, but uh, it is very, very strong. I do only have it as a two of. A lot of the lists I was seeing ran this as a four of, which might be correct. I didn't want to get too many of these stranded in our hand. Maybe that's incorrect again. Uh, between that and the adversary, we're, we're testing some stuff out a little bit there. Uh, I do have Hagra Mauling in here. This card I think has gotten a lot worse with rotation because there's a lot of uh, just basic lands now. Um, there have been for a while, there always will be in standard. So generally you're gonna be paying four for this, but it is a way to guarantee that we've got a couple of extra lands in there plus some extra removal. Uh, and so I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll throw two of them in here again, more as a tester and see how it goes. Uh, and then finally, we have Emerson Predator, a card that we've seen for a while since Kaldheim. Uh, a 3-3 three, three for 4 with flying whenever it becomes tapped. Exile one card from a graveyard and then put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, and then you can sacrifice another creature and it gains indestructible until the end of the turn. And then you also tap it. So very, very powerful. Again, I wanted to have a little bit of air support here uh, with some of these little, you know, small time removal spells that we can kind of get some stuff out of the way. So we're going to give this one a shot, guys. I hope that it goes well. I really don't know what to expect here, uh, but I think it's going to be a really fun time. So let's jump into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and do we keep this? Um, it's a little risky for sure. We've only got a couple lands. One of them isn't going to come into play untapped as of now. Uh, we do have a two mana. I, you know, I'm going to try it. This may not go well, uh, but we're going to do the best we can. Excuse me. We're going to lead off with the uh, the ridge here just in case um, we're not sure what's going to happen. So I'd rather be safe. We'll play out that socialite. Uh, again, this isn't going to obviously power up any vampires yet, but it certainly can, uh, which is really, really good for us. And then we'll see what they've got here. Perfect. We can kill that. Uh, that is a card we're going to want to kill, in fact. Uh, and Neonate's Rush actually is just about perfect. Um, so they can't block this anyway, so there's really no point in doing this post-combat. We're just going to go ahead and do this now. Uh... Get this out of the way. Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually okay though, because again, this does have menace, so they still can't block. We're gonna go ahead and throw this at them. Uh, and I suppose we'll just do this. That was very clever on the opponent's end. That kept us from drawing a card, which was great. Uh, it also just, again, that counter there is pretty useful. Um, they're gonna get in for two. That's okay-ish. Um, we are going to attack first. <clears throat> uh, and I think we will just throw out the uh, Predator here. This is a very strong card, obviously. It's uh, a, a very good blocker as well at this point. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. It doesn't get around indestructible, so. Uh, well done, opponent. All right. Uh, was kind of hoping for a land there, but that's okay. Um, all right, let's attack in. I really wish we had a red source here, but we just don't. Um, going to enter this in, uh, with that counter that does have first strike, which is great. And again, if they just kill it, it sucks, but we're, we're kind of running them out of removal, I imagine here. So we'll see what happens. And we're doing an okay job of holding on to ours, uh, which is good and bad, obviously, but there we go. Get another little 2-2 two -two for them. That's perfectly fine. Uh, fantastic. Okay. Um, well, how do we want to do this, I guess, is the question. Uh, I'm going to kill this right now. The question is, do we also want to kill one of these guys? Um... And you know what? I am going to go ahead and, and just do that. The reason being, this then allows us to attack in here. We're going to get, hopefully, a card off the top here. We're not going to be able... If it's just a land, I guess we can play it, which is good. Yeah, uh, play it. Um, and we'll pass here. 
We might be able to neonates rush just some little thing that comes down probably not i mean chances are they can just level these up here and get a pretty solid attack in well one of them i suppose oh we did it all right guys we won that was a, a relatively quick game a little surprising that they gave up that early though uh, i don't necessarily think they had lost but feeling pretty good let's jump into game two all right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and, you know, I am going to keep this. Thanks for that Hagramalling. Again, this isn't going to allow us to, to get the socialite down as early as possible or hold up the Infernal Grasp. Either way, we're in okay shape here. Uh, we do have a goal to get to, of course. Um, but let's go ahead and throw this out there. Does cheapen up the Neonate's Rush, which is great. I love these sleeves, by the way. Guys, look at that. That is stunning. Um, I never use sleeves, fun fact. I don't know why, I just don't. Um, all right, we'll throw this out there. We'll attack in and, I mean, there's nothing else we can do. Let's just wait. Uh, we get to leave up both of these, or one of these, I, suppose, I should say, but uh, we should be able to deal with a creature coming down. I'm a little worried though, because obviously this looks to be very much a control list. Um, which is going to be a problem for us, if I had to guess. Uh, let's see what we can do. You guys may not be able to see. If I do this, can you see? Look at, look at her. Look at her just chilling. Lulu. Hi. Oh, she's precious. All right. Let's jump back. <laughs> All right. Uh, opponent. Got a faithful mending here. Perfectly fine. A very good card, by the way, from the opponent. Uh, sure. All right, another Noxious Grasp. Uh, not exactly what we want, uh, to be honest. It's not super helpful. They did get rid of the faithful, uh, Fateful Absence, which makes me... I'm assuming they've got another way to deal with this then. Uh, there's really no way they wouldn't. Uh, sure. There's the Seagate Restoration. Very good card. Um, really, really need a fourth land here. <laughs> That's like... It's like goal number one. Um, I'm assuming they have got a counter spell. They might just be holding up the mending. I don't know, uh, but we will see. Okay, there's a land. That's good. We're going to attack in. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple points of damage off. Uh, I'm going to go for the dragon. I doubt that this lands. I mean, my assumption is they, they, they need to counter. Not need to, but they probably have a counter here. Yeah, okay. That's fine. It's not great for us, but it's not the end of the world. We've got another one in hand. Um, and I'm curious to see what their win condition is, because we do have... If it's a creature, we're theoretically set. <laughs> I don't know that it is, but we'll we'll see when we get there. Um, they're going to Faithful Mending now. That's kind of interesting. It's the amount I'm going to put two of them in your hand, the rest of them. Okay. They're going to consider. Very good card. Um, but they're not leaving up any counter magic here, which is good for us. Now they could... Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, we're going to attack in. Again, trying to play as much as we can during our second main phase here. Now this can be indestructible, which is really useful right now because if they do decide to uh, try and destroy it with a fateful absence or something like that, we can sacrifice the socialite to get around that. Um, don't know if we're going to, I mean, that's probably the play to be brutally honest, um, just to make sure that we can keep it moving here. But uh, regardless, certainly a very good threat. And we do have another creature to, to back this up here. We're gonna do this. Uh, it is gonna gain indestructible until the end of the turn, uh, which does get around Doomscar. Now, do they have a way to, nope, doesn't look like it. Perfect. Okay, so we do keep the Predator around, I believe. Uh, that's really good. What do we want to get out of the graveyard? It's probably just this. Let's get these out of there. These memory deluges, we don't particularly like them having. Um, all right, cool. So we do want to... Let's do this. 
I'm going to play a little fun here. They might be able to counter this, and if they do, it's fine. We've got other things we can do here. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. That's going to go. Uh, we do get that, that little clue token, which is kind of helpful here. Um, we're going to deal with damage here, get rid of that. We got a land, that's helpful. Um, we'll throw a couple creatures out here. I know we're over committing a little bit here, but uh, I think we kind of have to. We, we do need to end this game at some point. Um, I'm fully expecting them to have a Doom Scar though, uh, which is very scary. Uh, we do have a lot more land now though, so we can crack this clue token and then potentially play whatever we get off the top, but control is kind of the bane of our existence, so. <laughs> Uh, this isn't super surprising that they're kind of controlling us out here. Um, I do really like the Predator in this matchup. If we can keep it around, it's a very good card because it does get rid of so many of the flashback cards. Uh, there's that Doom Scar. Um, now they, they they do have the mana open for the Memory Daily or Faithful Mending, excuse me, but they also have mana open for a counter spell if they have it. We just have to go for it. And hope for the best. Uh, Nighthawk Scavenger is a very good card. It can certainly do some damage here uh, if they don't have a counter spell. Disdainful Stroke doesn't hit it. We know they run Disdainful Stroke, so that's a positive at the very least. I don't know. I don't know. They've run two Doom Scars so far. Here's the hope that they don't have too many more. They've also gotten two Fateful Absences out. Okay, they are going to counter it. And they're exiling. They have to exile four things. Is that how that works? Oh, they shuffle four cards. Wow. Okay, devious cover up. Interesting. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, you got it. <clears throat> I'm so curious as to how they win, though. Uh, I haven't seen a win condition, to be honest. It could very well just be a land, for all we know. Like, it could just be a, you know, a man land of some kind or something like that. But uh, as of right now, they're they're not doing too much. We just have to pass. They have dealt absolutely no damage to us, uh, which is kind of astounding. <clears throat> There's a shock. Uh, I mean, we just hold on to it. Shock does help against certain planeswalkers, things like that. So we'll see. Um, there's the memory deluge. Uh, yeah. So get to look at seven cards, put two of them into their hand and the rest on the bottom of their deck. OK, you got it. So they are, I assume, searching for their win con at this point. Um, I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> um, they've got multiple Field of Ruins. That's fine. That really doesn't matter. They can blow up any of these lands. We have plenty of basics. If anything, that really helps us because it deck thins for us. Um, so please, blow up our lands. I would appreciate it. I love these little things. That's fun. Uh... So they are going to attack our mana base. We'll tap it for black, just in case. I doubt they've got anything to play here, but we have got plenty of basics. We are going to pull black sources here if they try and blow up the other ones. We've got plenty of them. Doesn't really matter to me. And there's a play with fire. Uh, again, building up some burn here, so we'll see. Uh, we might want to play with fire them at the end of the turn just for the scry. Uh, if nothing else, but we are going to leave up a couple of things here and see what happens. Let's uh, let's shoot them with that play with fire. They might. I mean, they could very easily counter this. Clearly, this is a ploy just to to get a scry off. Um, and I think they know that. There's another land. We're kind of just drawing random stuff. The one thing I don't like neonates rush only hits creatures, which is OK because it does draw us a card as well. But Obviously, in a matchup like this, it's not really ideal. And we just keep drawing lands. <laughs> All right. Uh, the longer this game goes, the higher the chances that we lose uh, by a very large margin. Um, truthfully, there's not a whole lot we can do about it, though. We're just kind of getting unlucky with the draws. If we had some creatures, there might be a chance. Um, my assumption is, though, that they've got all the answers in the world to deal with whatever they need to deal with at this point. There's the win condition. 
There it is. All right, we were looking for it. Thankfully, we do have answers, though, so that's kind of okay. All right, I'm going to drop this or attempt to drop this. 100% expect it to either get countered or, you know, just die. Um, <laughs> uh, we will see. We will see. We will see. Uh, Alron's Epiphany could be in here as well, I suppose. That would be a good win con. That's such a good card. I love that card. Um, opponent deciding what to do here. Kind of surprising. I figured this would be a pretty straightforward one, but hey. I think at this point, yeah, their goal is just to, to keep going forward. All right, they're shuffling some really good stuff back into their grave or er, into their deck, excuse me. Um, sure. Thankfully, we get to leave up all three Infernal Graphs. <laughs> um, and the Neonates Rush. Truthfully, what we can do is Neonates Rush this and then uh, just to draw a card and then Infernal Grasp it. Or we can just Infernal Grasp it. That's probably just the correct play. But All right. There's another play with fire. We pass. Uh, seems like our camera's having a lot of trouble focusing today. This is a long game. We are going to get one more in, I think, after this. Okay, so they have two of these now, uh, both of which are very, very good. But again, we can kill both of them. Sure. Going to try and blow it up. Uh, they have three mana available, one of which is blue. Uh, cool. That's actually okay, because we're going to do this. <laughs> so we do lose some life in this process here, uh, but we still get to kill it. Um, thankfully, we had a couple stashed up here. They are going to get rid of the third, which is in our hand, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, and then we draw a card. All right, let's see what we get. A land. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, let's get a scry off here. Nope, don't want to land. Really don't want to land. All right. Dude, what is this? All right. Well, here we are, guys. We can't do too much about it. Uh, we do have another Hagger Mauling in the list, so we might be able to deal with the, the big old giant at some point. Goodness gracious. All right. Um, I think if they counter this, we just concede, though. I think they, I mean, there's no way they don't have the win here. All right, they didn't counter it. Let's shoot for this real quick. All right, we did a thing. I'm just going to pass. I don't know what's correct here. I really don't. Um, the reason being like this. Well, first of all, this leaves up both Neonates Rush and Shock versus just playing the Florian. But yeah, there's the Doom Scar, and that's what I was worried about. They, I'm assuming, have like multiple Doom Scars, though. So there's like no chance we win, right? Um, <laughs> I'm a shock him. <laughs> We're just, <laughs> all right, cool. We're going to try and play the Florian. Uh, this isn't going to land, I assume. Or they're going to let it land, but then doom scar it. But there's no way this works. <laughs> But this does give us an extra play, potentially. That's kind of why I'm doing this. But there's the counter. I don't know, dude. This is a rough matchup. That is for sure. They just have another solid coming. All right, I'm done. They win. We suck. Moving on. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our last game uh, because that one did go on quite a while. Uh, and this is definitely a keep. We're going to go for this. Let's go ahead and lead on black. Excuse me. Uh, we've got the Slaughter Specialist coming down early, which is great. Um, oh, even better. 
Neonate's Rush, such a great little card for this. Um, and worst case scenario, we do have the Hagra Mauling as well to, to deal with some, some stuff on the opponent's end here. Uh, fully expect some really powerful, yeah, little little guys like this. They're going to Portable Hole. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you got it. Uh, annoying, for sure. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Uh, if we play this for red, what we can do is this. And then this. That draws us a card. Perfect. Haunted Ridge. A plus. That's great. Uh, that's going to give us, again, Hogger Mauling. Uh, going to be able to deal with some of this stuff. And then if we need to, of course, we just have the Predator as well, which is just great. Um, sure. Now, eventually, the goal is for them to just run out of stuff, uh, which is semi-likely at some point here. We're not going to block. Going to take the three. Kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. All right, let's do this. Uh... I'm going to pass. We're going to leave up that Hagger Mauling. I don't know if that's great, to be honest. Maybe the uh, Predator is a better option here, but I think we're going to just kill whatever they try and uh, hit with... Oh. Well, that might change things. Um, we're going to take this out now. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. That sucks, though, for the Predator. Yep. Um, okay. Sure. So we may just have to chump block something here, which isn't ideal. <laughs> Do we take the six? Um, I'm going to say yes. I don't know that that's correct, but that's what we're going to do. All right, uh, let's do this. We're going to auto pay once. We're going to neonate, uh, which is going to kill this and get us another predator. And then we pass. All right. I mean, that's something uh, that's not necessarily a win, obviously, but that is something. Man, they've got so many of those. Uh, yeah, you got it. So we are going to have to chump block here, which does kind of suck, but it is what it is. I assume they spread the damage out. Yeah. I am going to chump block here. We got to keep ourselves somewhat in this, but I don't have high hopes here. Um, ugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's just nothing we can do, right? Like, they just kind of have it. Um... Man, I feel like we were semi-close. If they hadn't had that second portable hole, I think we could have done something there, but there's a shock. Uh, yeah, I think we got a good game. I'm well done, opponent. All right, well, let's chat about this list. All right, so obviously we didn't get... Uh, also, man, she is adorable. Look at her. Um, obviously we only got one win. Uh, not necessarily ideal, but I do really like this list. I think with some tweaking, we could maybe get it somewhere that it's uh, a little more powerful. I think the problem that we're running into now is that mono white deck, as we saw, is super, super aggressive. Um, and you need to have the... I think it can win that matchup. I think you just need to have the removal early and we just didn't happen to have it. Uh, there's plenty of burn in the deck to be able to deal with some of those creatures. We just didn't get it in time. Um, the other matchup that really, really gave us a problem was obviously control. I think that's always going to be the case, though. Um, I don't really think that that's something... Uh, that the, I mean, you can tweak it to try and get around it a little bit, but I think you're always going to run into that issue with a deck like Vampires, which is generally a more aggro centric list. So I don't find that super surprising. The, the mono white list, I felt like we could have had a better, uh, hand against and we could have done something with, but that's okay. Regardless, it's fun to have Vampires back. We got a lot of support in Innistrad. Uh, and so it's really great to be able to kind of tinker with this, play with it a little bit and see what we can do. So hopefully you guys are, uh, playing around with some deck lists as well feel free to share them in the comment section below i would love 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 uh to see what you guys can come up with but guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos